Hello Pisces, welcome to Reading With Me, Cindy. Pisces, we are doing Spiritual Success and Activation Week. So we're gonna look at to see kind of like how to help you here. Um, <laughs> after I say that, I don't know that I helped anybody with Aquarius's reading. It was so complicated, oh my God. So let's see how yours goes, Pisces. We're gonna see the area of your life that you were disheartened in or you feel the most blocked in. How this block is shaping the course of your life? What can you activate in your life right now? And what can you do to address your worries? So I'm just going to get started. And, you know, be careful. I got, I learned, be careful what you think you know. Because Aquarius' reading started off like so. Oh, this is so easy to understand. Oh, my God. And then I started digging into it. I, I, I it's like, whoa. So Pisces, tell me, your wise leadership, you have, yeah, why not, this is, this is your, you're disheartened about your wise leadership. You're so smart, you know, you could just show the world how to do it, but nobody asks or <laughs> wise leadership, you feel blocked in this. You know, it's kind of too, it's like watching people do stupid shit. <laughs> like, I told them, and they're still not doing it right. So how does this block shape the course of your, your general, oh, you know, you, know, you, give, you give. Well, that's interesting. You give? Generosity? Oi, oi, oi. You guys are going to wrap my brain here. Let's see. What can you activate in your life right now? Your potential. <laughs> all right. All right. I feel like there's something you haven't unlocked about yourself here. That's what this is. There's something here that you haven't quite unlocked. The key to it is your generosity. Just give. <laughs> How can you address your worries? Devotion. Pray to God and hope it all works out all right. So, <laughs> end of reading. No, it's not. Secrets. Romantic love. Humor. Humor. Romantic love. Secrets. Laugh about romantic love. Secrets. Are you keeping romantic secrets? What is going on? I don't know. Oh, Lord. <laughs> These, you and Aquarius are just beating me up over here. All right. I do feel like there's some sort of potential you haven't quite, because it's potential. What can you activate in your life? Is some kind of um, potential here. You're frustrated about your wise leadership. Or maybe you're frustrated about wise leadership around you. Maybe they're not so wise. I don't know. I need tarot. Okay, I feel good about that, though, because I got so much out of Aquarius' is reading before tarot, and then it just went downhill from there. So let's go. Justice. Oh, look at this. Wise leadership and devotion are mirrored numbers, 14 and 41. Oh, that's interesting. Let me see your numbers here. You got 39 and 49. You got 40 and 9, and 49 is humor. So generosity and potential creates humor. Why would you be disheartened about this? You have justice, the Knight of Wands, and the Knight of Pentacles with wise leadership. Because this does seem pretty wise. This is sort of like knowing what kind of action to take when you need to take some sort of action. Like weighing it out, picking the right one. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe you're kind of thinking like there's two ways I could do something. Either I could just kind of like rush in and storm through. Um... 
or I could take this slower and I could have like a, a plan here to get me through it. Or like the Knight of Wands is not really a planner. So maybe that's part of it. It's kind of like how to use your leadership. Should you just jump in or should you do like a long, slow burn? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. How does this block shape the course of your life? You've got generosity. That looks pretty good. So maybe you don't, you know, you're too, because these readings are like you're disheartened, you're blocked. Maybe these are minor things in your life. I don't know. Because actually the, it looks pretty good. So give and take in life, you know, with generosity. You've got the Nine of Cups, the Star, and the Queen of Swords. You can make dreams come true. I don't even think that this is really a block. I think it's more like a negotiating thing within yourself. Like what should you use? How would you create balance in a situation? Like, and I don't even know how much of a block it is or that it's just you like kind of taking the time to think about which foot do you lead with here? And when you're doing that, you, you're you kind of like making dreams come true. Like you're giving of yourself in the best way you could. You're honestly, yeah, like giving of yourself in the best way you could. What can you activate in your life right now is potential. Doing something on your own is not the key here. You have the Nine of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, the Ten of Swords. You could be quite capable of doing something. And you even, you like... This is kind of, I want to say, maybe holding yourself back or to let somebody else do something because this is not the, it, you've been quite successful doing things on your own, but then like it's to end that with the 10 of swords. I feel like you're pretty good at making some decisions for yourself here. Maybe even making decisions for other people with leadership. It's, it's showing you or showing you how to utilize your energy um, in different aspects of life, like people that you deal with. That happens a lot in my Pisces readings. And I am not even in the dining room. This is my robot cleaner. What is it about your energy always sets off my robot cleaner? And I'm so far from it right now. That's weird. <laughs> All right. Devotion. I think she's wanting me to move. Let's pull it. Six of Swords. Ace of Cups. The Seven of Swords. <sighs> the Four of Wands. The Four of Cups and the Ace of Wands. No, you have a good idea about something. <laughs> what is this? You got secrets. And in here you end up with the seven of swords. It's kind of sneaky secrety. I have a devotion to a secret. Maybe that's what it is. Happy, the secret. The secret to happy romantic love. Is that what this is? 
Because that's what I that's what I would say now. It's like the secret to happy romantic love. Uh, okay. Is that what we're learning here, Pisces? The secret to, to happy romantic love. So devotion. The universe will take you there. But why you got the seven of swords? What are you doing? Because you got the six to the seven of swords with the ace of cups sitting between those two. You're hiding something. I think, okay. I think you're hiding a solution or you're hiding a potential better way forward. This kind of feels like too, like sometimes if you've been trying to, to show someone how to do something, um, you know, you can explain to them how to do it. You know, if you've ever taught anybody anything, especially like a kid or somebody or anyone who's not done anything for the first time. I shouldn't even say a kid because I used to train adults years ago and nobody, nobody ever seemed to understand. Well, not well, some people did, but until they did it, because there's a bit of that here. Actually, there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot of that here because it is almost like letting someone find their way. You're holding back on something. It's like to be devoted to that. So what is that shit? Let me see here. That's just, there's some weird energy <laughs> in you and Aquarius right now. Devotion. The Four of Wands. You're planning something. Maybe you're planning a party. <laughs> The Six of Swords, the Chariot, yeah, you're going somewhere. The Ace of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, and the Knight of Swords. You're going somewhere you haven't been in a long time, and you are not hesitating, and you're going to be really happy to get there. But why are you hiding this? The Seven of Swords. The King of Pentacles and Temperance. Are you hiding? You're sneaking from someone. <laughs> you're up to Pisces. You're sneaking. But this is like how you can address your worries. It's to hide something from somebody. Just hide it. So, but it's not something. It's almost like you're going to a party. I feel like I'm talking to like a 16 year old. <laughs> you're, you're devoted to hiding some sort of celebration or party maybe that you're going to. You're going there. You haven't been there in a while with the five of pentacles. You're, you're, there's nothing that's going to stop you from going there because it's going to feel really good when you get there. But you're doing it in a really sneaky way. Almost like maybe you're like you're it's it is it's like you're waiting for somebody to understand something without showing them directly. <laughs> I don't know. Some days I think it would have been easier to be a brain surgeon. <laughs> Some of these readings. See, and that's the wise leadership. But what foot do you lead with here? The wise leadership. Tell me full on. Justice. Well, yeah, I've got, got justice already. <laughs> justice. The emperor. Well, there's a leader. The knight of wands. The ace of pentacles. 
the Knight of Pentacles. All right, wait a second. I think we might have an answer here. The Five of Cups, Seven of Cups, Two of Wands. I'll tell you right now. You should lead with the, the hot foot. <laughs> you should lead with the Knight of Wands. Because I feel like this is not so much a block, like, oh, I can't do this. I don't know. Maybe it is. You could even be getting two two different uh, two different bits of advice from people, and you're not sure which to lead with. And I'm going to tell you that it looks like the Knight of Wands um, on the surface. Again, there's something about once I start getting into your reading in Aquarius, I just like, oh, my God, I'm drowning in this. Like, holy crap, what is all this shit? Um, but once you, if you lead with the Knight of Wands, you're going to get some sort of tangible result here. Yeah, it's going to happen. So this is like the don't hesitate. What drives you today? What, like, what do you need to do right now? You know, that's that, that's that energy. That's going to get you something. Okay. And this is like justice for the emperor. So if this is your, I'm guessing you're, you're the emperor in this because you're disheartened by this leadership. Or maybe it's people that your boss is around you. I don't know. I said bosses. Who has more than one boss? I guess you could. Because the slow and steady is not going to win the race here. The slow and steady is really disappointing. It just causes more confusion. And quite honest, it just leaves you wishing and hoping. So there you go. <laughs> That's There's an answer right there. Okay. Uh, tangible shit. Let me give me, give me something here. How this block is shaping the course of your life? Well, you give. You're generous. You are generous. And when you are, it's when you are, like let's say that when you are generous, it's good generosity. It's making wishes come true. It's um, quite healing. It's working in your higher, for the higher good of yourself and others, making things really clear. Generosity. The Three of Swords and the, the Ace of Cups. This is almost like uh, giving so much it hurts, but that it feels good. Or, or when you don't have much to give, you find something in you to give. When you've been hurt, that's no reason to hurt others. Oh, I like that. When you've been hurt, it's no reason to hurt others. Because this is not a hurt energy either. It's quite nice. The Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups. The Page of Cups and the Lovers. Dude, it's nice. You can take something small and make it so much more. This is kind of like showing up as the bigger person in life. The star, the ten of wands, and the knight of cups. Even when it's hard to do, you can still do it. Oh my gosh, this is nice. Even when it's the biggest burden in the world, that's how it's shaping the course of your life. You push through it. Something's happened here. I don't know how or what. Like, I'm only, like, looking at a snapshot. But something's got to have happened here where, like, you're generous. When your heart has been broken, you still find something within yourself to give. And I don't mean you're feeding into anyone who's still taking from you, right? That's not what that is. Just because... The world has hurt you doesn't mean that now you need to hurt the world. And then the star card with the Ten of Wands and the Knight of Cups, again, it is not bringing these burdens forward, not um, perpetuating uh, like things that hold us back, things that weigh us down. Bringing your heart forward, rising above. Well, I don't know, and, and maybe maybe you see, like, so maybe this wise leadership, maybe it's people around you, people that you've witnessed. You have people that, like, you, 
so I, I too am wondering like because I don't know this is this is really beautiful energy like how it's shaping the course of your life I'm not even sure that this is this is your leadership over here because maybe you've seen leadership happen in different ways you've seen people that like are hot right in there ready to go why because they want some money <laughs> and then then you've got other people who are I got a plan here but they never do anything with it <laughs> never never do anything with the plan. Oh, this is interesting. Yours is becoming quite profound as we dig into it. And I don't know what, like, I guess we all are leaders at any given time in life. You know, when even if it's just your own life here, and you've made some sort of decision that, you know, you've been hurt, that's no reason to hurt the rest of the world. And maybe, you know, because these are two knights. I don't know if this it's more action based, honestly. The emperor is justice, but does anyone ever really step up and be that? I don't know. I don't see too much of it. <laughs> the potential. What can you activate in your life right now? The Eight of Swords. God, Lord, because it's like when you are subjected to things that are difficult, somehow you grow more. It's like you have to be that little that little weed between the crack and the cement slab. And you'll somehow manage to do better than the weed growing in the flower bed that's getting like the fertilizer and all that shit. So because this just feels like when you have a block you find a way to soar it's almost like the unpredictable the um the the avenue forward for you to success is the avenue that most people don't even bother looking at but oh i didn't do the queen of swords let me see her the queen of swords Just in here which got the Knight of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. Somehow you can make dreams turn around here. I do feel like you understand sacrifice. There might be sacrifice asked of you here. The Nine of Pentacles. The Seven of Wands. The Six of Wands. The Nine of Pentacles and the Sun. This has come up. This was coming up a bit in Aquarius's reading. It's just like protecting some sort of sovereignty here. Um, and when you do that, you will shine. I'm not sure why the Eight of Swords is there for your potential. Is it to see something you haven't seen yet? Or is it, a, is it to continue to avoid something so that you can shine on your own here? It might be. Because I'm really wondering now about this this wise leadership in the area where you feel blocked or disheartened. The Ten of Swords. Like you know the right answer for yourself. The Four of Pentacles with the Ten of Swords. And Four of Pentacles. The Nine of Wands and the world. Oh. Eight of Swords? I think I know where this is going. Judgment. Ten of Swords. Something is a is an an end here. There's some kind of is something that you've been doing that you gotta stop doing. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Um I do feel like it's limiting yourself. There's no limit. 
and maybe there's been uh you know people around you that have been mentors and bosses parents guide i don't know what but they i think they all have had different um different motivations for why they've done things and it's kind of like to really understand what motivates you here because quite truthfully this energy is it's pretty cool and it really it, do, it just continue to continues to look like um just because the world has hurt me i do not have to hurt the world back What's going on with this King of Pentacles? That is the one thing that I don't... Why are you hiding? Maybe because that's like a boss, right? The hanged man. I don't know. Maybe you gotta hide. Maybe you gotta go out to a party and hide from your boss. <laughs> I don't know. But if there's something you feel like you need to hide right now, I mean, you're honestly being given permission to do it. It might not even be part of this reading, so that's why I don't understand it. Laughing at your secret love. What is that? That doesn't even sound very nice, actually, that. Humor. The Eight of Cups. Romantic love. The Five of Wands and Secrets. The Queen of Pentacles. This is like laughing as you walk away. You could be like getting ready to leave something here. It could be a job. I don't want to give it all away. <laughs> Just cross watchers. Because you're hiding something from the King of Pentacles. You are hiding something from that King of Pentacles. And, but, I'm wondering if you're preparing to walk away from something and just because it's hurt you doesn't mean you have to hurt it while when you walk away. And I'm kind of wondering if some of you are walking away from something or someone because you have a secret love somewhere else. And again, activate. There's all this Nine of Pentacles here. Success and the Sun. Stop holding back. I don't know if there's been something that you've wanted to leave here and you are really disheartened by... It could be a partner. Or it could be like a workplace. It's some form of leadership around you. And the Hermit. They kind of like go it alone energy. Pisces, I'm gonna go do. You're extended. I'm gonna use the Oracle of the Radiant Sun. What do we have at the bottom? Detachment vision. Vision detachment choice. Hmm. Your it's almost like your your vision and your choices become more. In alignment with you know seeing the truth when perhaps you are detached venus and aquarius is a difficult energy there what is fascinating i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna use that and the good tarot we're gonna ask in the extended the cycle that you are leaving and the cycle that you are entering be interesting thank you so much pisces until next time do be gentle with yourselves bye